Welcome back to Profiles in Caring and our focus today on Eagle Eyes, a technology that opens up the world for some of the world's most challenged people. Professors at Boston College had developed a computer technology allowing people to navigate on screen without a mouse, essentially using only their eyes to give the computer instructions. They called it Eagle Eyes, after the Boston College mascot, an eagle. Eagle Eyes works by uh, tracking eye movements. So as Michael moves his eyes around, the mouse pointer moves around the screen. Uh, it works through five electrodes that we place on the head, one above, one below, to the left and to the right, and a ground. The electrodes track what's known as a corneal retinal potential. On your eyes, the front is positive, the back is negative. Um, when you move your eyes around, an electric field is set up. So these are very small signals. But as Michael moves his eyes around, we can track them on the amplifiers and then sense them on the computer and adjust the mouse pointer accordingly. We were contacted at the campus school by Jim Gipps and uh, he shared with us uh, the uh, research project he was involved in uh, using eye gaze uh, for direct control of a computer and uh, thought certainly that it uh, had the potential for some practical applications uh, with the students that attend the campus school. So we certainly welcome that opportunity uh, to collaborate with uh, Jim and the other faculty members involved in the project, uh, seeing uh, how it might uh, enhance the lives of people with disabilities. These are my machines that help me learn very quickly. They are also the machines that opened my world. So Michael became involved quite accidentally but we knew after the first couple of sessions that we had a very special young man in our hands, someone who had an awful lot to contribute. And then I referred to him then as a brain trapped in a body, and I refer to him today as the same thing, a brain with, 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 with tremendous potential. There certainly was more that he could be doing than he was doing in his present school situation. And we uh, saw uh, Michael uh, being able to navigate the system, uh, certainly demonstrate knowledge that no one thought uh, he was capable of demonstrating before. So we saw it as a, a vehicle for him to certainly make some tremendous gains. But it wasn't until the professor became a patient that the potential reach of this technology became all too clear. A couple of years ago, I had a coronary bypass surgery, major surgery. When I woke up from the surgery, um, much to my surprise, I was completely paralyzed and I couldn't speak. So I couldn't move my hands, couldn't move my legs, couldn't talk. There I was lying in the bed in the recovery room. Part of me said, well, this is probably just normal procedure and you'll recover and it'll all be fine. And then part of me said, well, maybe there were bad consequences during the surgery. Maybe I had a brainstem stroke. So maybe I'll be like this for the rest of my life. And I started to panic a little bit, um, quite a bit, and then I thought, well, this is what the people who I'm working with, this is what they're feeling like. And they're just not feeling like it for a couple of minutes, they're feeling like it throughout their entire lives. So then I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll need to be using Eagle Eyes for the rest of my life, which would be, would be some irony in that. Um, luckily, um, my full function uh, returned to me but um, it just, I think it gave me some insight into um, what the people are going through who we work with. The greatest frustration was not moving, because I could adjust to that, but it was that I couldn't get the nurses to take me seriously, to pay attention to me. So I tried to move my eyes to attract the nurses' attention, um, but they just ignored me. They just didn't see me as a person. They thought, um, oh, I was still out of it. They had no way of knowing that I was conscious and aware, and that's what I think what's happening with a lot of the children who we work with. To say that good news travels quickly is an understatement. Out West, Debbie Inkley heard what professors Olivieri and Gibbs had done, and she immediately set out to bring Eagle Eyes and its communicative powers to a much broader population. Debbie formed the Opportunity Foundation to facilitate what is literally a breakthrough in opportunity. Professor Gipps was looking for an organization to take Eagle Eyes on and manufacture and distribute it. Um, and our organization, the foundation, was looking for a project that we could embrace. And here is a friend of his and a friend of mine from Chicago who puts us together. So, you know, we've got Chicago, Boston, and Utah, and all of a sudden we come together. So as we were putting this uh, project together, we, we understood that 
it was a charity that we were building it for, so we were tr really focused on trying to do it at the lowest cost that we possibly could get to, and uh, would want to do anything that we could possibly do to get that cost as, as low as we could uh, to be able to produce as many units uh, as we possibly could with, with Debbie. Look up there, Derry! Can you see him? Get him! There he is! He's gonna disappear. He's gonna dis- Oh, there he goes. Oh, there's one you can get. Get him. Yeah, good job. I did this because, you know, you, are, you keep hearing that to, to give your talents and expertise to those less fortunate than myself. And when I heard about this opportunity to do this, I felt that this was a great, great opportunity to give to people who don't have the opportunities I've had or the, or the abilities and, you know, give them the ability to where they can get on the internet and surf the web and at least get out there and try to, you know, give back to society. Could Thanks. she really do this all day long, 24-7? She could sit here for, especially the music and the auditory, she could just sit there for a long, long time. <laughs> and Thank she you. doesn't sit. <laughs> But for Eagle Eyes, she's just really, she's just, she's just connected with it. It's interesting to watch how she enjoys it so much. We see that uh, for some people, it, it, it creates a, a whole new life for them, where, they, where they're essentially non-functional. Uh, in a chair, one day, they, they suddenly realize they have control, a little bit of control over, over their environment, over their, over their world. And we hear the stories that come back of, of how some of these people uh, literally just just didn't seem to have a lot of life in them but yet after using the product they realize that there's there's more to life than than just than just being than just sitting there and now they they can do a lot more more things so just how successful is eagle eyes we're going to show you when we come back <laughs>